Even after practicing minimalism for more than an year now, I still sometimes feel the urge to buy more and more stuff. For most of us, spending money on impulse when you see something new is usually the problem. Then we rush into buying things before we think about these items, whether we really need them, whether we can reuse something that we have at home. But I have gradually developed habits that have helped me stop impulse purchases. So on my mission to stop buying things on impulse, I want to share with you ways that can help you stop buying things that you do not need. So let's dive right into it. And before you even start considering how you're going to stop buying things, you need to know why you want to stop buying things. This could be either you want to save more money, either you have a financial goal, or either you want to become more intentional in your spending habits. Set up financial goals as motivation for you to do this. When you write these points down, go over them anytime you feel the urge to buy something, then this will help you rethink your impulse purchases. Then identify your triggers. You need to know the reason as to why, what triggers you to buy things. You can track your spending habits of a week or a month, write down when you buy these things, what you've bought during this period of time. Then you can think of why you bought these items. Maybe you were bored, you felt lonely, you didn't have anything to do at that particular time. Or maybe you saw a sale on social media on a brand that, is, that you love and then you, you felt the urge to buy this item since it, there was a discount price for purchasing it or something. Identifying your triggers will help you know where you spend your money, the reasons as to why you tend to buy these items maybe at that particular time and this will help you in the next step which is So now that you know all your triggers, you know what makes you buy items, maybe it's because of that email notification you get from your favorite brand or from the newsletters that you've subscribed to, this is the moment to unsubscribe from all these notifications and subscribe from all these brands and all this stuff limit your exposure to digital marketing like limit your exposure to social media when you go through the instagram pages or the social media platforms of your favorite brands trust me you'll become tempted to buy these cute things that are being thrown at you each moment each minute each second so the best thing that you can do is to avoid browsing and avoid going to the mall because trust me when you don't see something good then you won't feel the urge to buy it's as simple as that so now that you've gotten rid of all these temptations yeah you need to find a way to fill that time or you need to identify what you really need during these times when you're feeling bored when you're lonely and what i would advise you to do is to watch maybe our series you like you can indulge yourself in activities hobbies like gardening you can even start um working out or something healthy whichever thing go outdoors travel or just do something that will fill that gap of you wanting to buy more stuff and filling your spaces with stuff you do not need buyer's remorse is such a bad feeling so okay then these other ones some say wait for 24 hours before buying something new i say wait for three days before buying something new because within the 24 hours it didn't work for me i used to find out that i still had that urge to buy even after 24 hours so i decided to give myself more time which is three days to a month if it's a big purchase and when you write down the item that you want to purchase you note it down then wait for three days trust me after this period of time the urge usually dies down start developing this habit okay now you want to go buy a dress maybe for a party that you've been invited to what you can do take inventory of all you have of the things that you own go through your closets check the clothes that you have the clothes that you've never worn go through your kitchen what do you have what don't you use go through your house check everything that you have things that you're using things that you are not using things. and in this way trust me it will guide you to the other point which is so once you go through your things trust me you'll find these items that you're not using but that can be reused so maybe you wanted to go buy another cleaning supply or maybe you wanted to go, go buy a 
a rug or a mop then you find that you have some old clothes you haven't worn you don't like anymore that can be reused as rugs or maybe those empty toiletry bottles they can be used as soap dispensers so it's all about being creative and it's all about reusing and in this way you're saving our planet earth because you're reducing the waste that is going to the disposal is so hard for you so hard to just stop buying things you can implement a no spend challenge this is whereby you take maybe whether a week or a month whereby you do not spend but you only buy the necessities like this is food item maybe your rent or groceries but the other stuff that you do not need in this period of time you do not buy then track your spending please track your spendings you can even track your spendings of from a month or more whichever you want write it all down from groceries bills online shopping each expense that you have then keep another list of things you want to buy or almost bought on impulse then see what you saved by simply writing it down rather than buying immediately Trust me, this will give you joy and motivation to keep going and to become much more intentional in your shopping habits. So, yeah. It has become a game changer for me, making a list whenever I go shopping. In the past, I didn't used to have any list whenever I went shopping, especially grocery shopping. Then what happened is that I would go buy items. Then when I came back home, I found that I bought items that I didn't need. And those that I need, I did not buy. So when you write down what you need and stick to that list trust me you'll stop buying things that you do not need and please please don't forget please please stay out of stores if you don't need to be in them please yeah and if you truly want to become more intentional in your life in your shopping habits i think you should consider embracing minimalism Minimalism is different for everyone and to me minimalism is about letting go of, of all the distractions both the physical and the emotional distractions the emotional baggage that were holding me back and just making me so stressed and this has enabled me to focus more on what truly matters which is like my kids and my physical and mental well-being and so much more so doing this it will enable you become content with what you have when you own less things that you truly need and let go of the rest then you can be able to stop bringing new things into your space something that i've noticed is that if you aren't happy with what you already have even bringing in something new the joy won't last as long the joy of something new usually fades so quickly have you ever noticed that when you buy something like a new dress you wear it the first time and you're so excited then the second time you put it on it's not as as exciting as exciting as the first time is it true yeah this is what happens the joy just goes like this yeah so ask yourself do you have everything that you need today do you you use each item in your space do the items in your space add value anyway let me know in the comment sections what are your triggers what makes you want to buy stuff and the ways that you're doing to help you stop buying stuff i would really love to know i would really love to read your comments and thank you so much for the wonderful comments anyway i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new here hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye take care